in these days of soaring costs of health care. Any study that investigates diagnostic or therapeutic methods that can be more effective at less cost than the currently employed ones is highly relevant. Colonoscopies are performed in increasing numbers in the Western world given the high morbidity and mortality associated with colorectal cancers. Colonoscopy is highly effective in detecting advanced neoplasias and endoscopic polypectomy is a method for colorectal cancer prevention. Therefore, colonoscopy is the preferred screening strategy for colorectal cancer. However, it's invasive and painful and most patients require some sedation. Benzodiazepines are used widely for this purpose and these can be administered by endoscopists. Slow induction of sedation and delayed patient discharge times, however, are the disadvantages of benzodiazepines. An alternative sedating agent is propofol with its short half-life, high lipid solubility and rapid induction of sedation, propofol has been found to be effective in gastrointestinal endoscopy. Administration of propofol has been performed by anesthesiologists or nurse anesthesiologists in view of the fact that the sedative is a respiratory depressant and has no reversal agent. The involvement of anesthesiologists results in a significant increase in costs. How high the costs can be, and if there is an alternative to anesthesiologists' administration of propofol that might result in marked reduction in health care costs without sacrificing patient safety, are the issues raised by Hassan et al. in their recent publication in Endoscopy. The title of their article is Endoscopist Administered Propofol Administration versus Anesthesiologist Assistance for Colorectal Cancer Screening, a Cost-Effectiveness Analysis. Here is what they have to say. Propofol for colonoscopy is largely administered by anesthesiologists or anesthesiology nurses in the United States and Europe. Endoscopist directed administration of propofol, EDP, by non anesthesiologists has recently been proposed with potential savings of anesthetist reimbursement costs. We aimed to assess potential EDP related benefit in a screening setting. In a Markov model, the total number of screening and follow up colonoscopies in a cohort of 100,000 U.S. subjects was estimated. Anesthetist-assisted colonoscopy was compared with an EDP strategy. Model outputs were projected onto the 50 to 80-year-old U.S. population, assuming 27% as the current uptake for colonoscopy screening. Anesthetist costs were estimated using the mean reimbursement for the corresponding Medicare code greater than 65 year olds and from commercial insurance information 50 to 65 year olds. The proportion of colonoscopies with anesthesiologist assistance was estimated from the Medicare database. Mean nurse salary was used to estimate the cost of a two week EDP training. The absolute number of U.S. endoscopies was estimated by inflating by 33% the number of bold certified gastroenterologists. No EDP mortality was assumed in the reference scenario and 0.0008% mortality in the sensitivity analysis. U.S. census data were adopted. Analogous inputs were used in France to assess EDP-related benefit in a European country. EDP training 
for 17,166 nurses, one for each U.S. endoscopist, showed a cost of $47 million. Cost estimates for anesthesiologist assistance for colonoscopy were $95 for Medicare and $450 for non-Medicare commercial insurance, with 34.8% of colonoscopies requiring anesthesiologist assistance. U.S. implementation of an EDP policy showed a 10-year saving of $3.2 billion. Monte Carlo analysis, 5 to 95 percent percentiles, 2.7 to 11.9 billion dollars. In the sensitivity analysis, assuming 50 percent of colonoscopies were anesthetist assisted, showed an EDP benefit of 4.6 billion dollars. Assuming a 0.0008 percent mortality rate, the incremental cost effectiveness of anesthetist assisted colonoscopy versus an EDP policy was $1.5 million per life year gained, supporting EDP as the optimal choice. A 31 fold increase of EDP related mortality, or a 17 fold cost reduction for anesthetist assisted colonoscopy was required for EDP to become not cost effective in this scenario. Implementation of an EDP policy in France with a Guayac Fecal Occult Blood Test Screening Program was estimated to save 0.8 billion euros in 10 years. The authors conclude that the absolute economic benefit of EDP implementation in a screening setting is probably substantial, with a 10-year savings of $3.2 billion in the U.S. and 0.8 billion euros in France. The impact of an eventual EDP-related mortality on EDP cost effectiveness seems marginal. The huge economic and medical resources entailed by anesthetist assisted colonoscopy could be more efficiently invested in other clinical fields.